Hi, this is Sean Bacon with Excellence Inspection Services, and today we're talking about structural questions. Uh, on the home inspection, you'd be surprised how little significant structural issues actually can happen on an inspection. But uh, we have a situation on this particular inspection that I'm performing that we do have a uh, question that we're going to have to refer to a contractor or a structural engineer. So one of the initial things that uh, the clients had indicated to me that the the floor was sloping. So there is a, a significant sag in the uh, floor here. And then I can see we have this repair crack that's coming from the window here. And then we have a repair crack that's above the window. And so then when I go into the next room, I can see, you know, we have some, some sagging. So from this wall to this wall, the floor is sagging. And, we, and you can see here, we also have a pretty significant crack and a very similar crack above there. So kind of a odd situation. So the thing is, what we're going to do is step outside. And as a home inspector, we may not be able to really identify why the issue is happening. But in most cases, we can usually identify the fact that the issue is happening. So now that I'm on the front wall, I can see as I look over this window here, we can see we have a crack that's above that, uh, that shutter there. And then as we go further, we can see we have even a more significant crack. You can see where there's, it's actually separated. You know, now it doesn't extend all the way to the foundation wall. So it's something that's probably happening behind this brick veneer wall. So now the other question is what could be causing this? And we can see here, even with the window, we can see how there's a slight separation between the window and the brick veneer where the caulking is kind of pulling away. Now, as part of the construction of this house, now this is a wood chase here, but what we have behind here is two two by 12s and a couple of top headers that are above. What I'm speculating, and I don't know, but definitely gonna have to have a uh, structural engineer come out. What I'm speculating is that those two by 12s have deflected. And what, am I, what I mean by deflected is, is that under normal circumstances, they would be straight up and down. But I think they've actually tilted down a little bit. So as they tilted down, that's what had caused the sagging floor. And then just the, the cracks in the wall and also the shifting and separation that we see in the brick veneer wall. So um, I don't know for sure. Like I said, at the end of the day, a structural engineer is going to have to come out and take a look at this and unfortunately it's probably going to be a pretty costly repair uh, to have this done but once it's repaired you know it shouldn't come back again but like I said this is definitely the exception and not the norm typically most found most structural issues or foundation issues are foundation cracks and things like that but every once in a while we do come across something that's pretty significant that sometimes can't necessarily be explained but we try to provide uh, the clients as, as best and educated guests as possible. This is Sean Bacon with Excellence Inspection Services. If you'd like for us to perform an inspection for you, please give us a call at 708-299-9235.